So I got a little bit derailed on my 36 days of type Photoshop brush challenge, but I thought I would get back to it and I am gonna finish this alphabet with free Photoshop brushes for you guys on YouTube. And for this brush, we're gonna have the, we're up to the letter H and I wanted a, a happy, fun brush. So this is H for happy. And this is a really cool rainbow brush using the pattern stamp technique that I've kind of pioneered with Photoshop brushes to have color blending strokes um, without having to do a lot of work. So it's really cool. And we can just make an H like this. So in your download folder, you will have a, um, uh, you will have an ABR file if you're using the latest Photoshop. You just load it via the brush panel, double click it or click import brushes. And if you're using an older version of Photoshop, go to the, you can load up the tool preset, um, get your tool preset panel, load tool presets like that. And it's the Creators Couture Rainbow H. And to make um, an H, you can just simply go like this. And it's just fun. And I think it's kind of like uh, just really fun and youthful and playful. So it's a really cool um, brush to make an H with and you can, uh, there we go, that looks a little bit better on the end there, but very fun, it's a rainbow. I've got this rainbow color palette in here. And as you guys, um, most people are familiar with my pattern stamp brushes know you can mix and match color palettes, you know, so you can use a different color palette for, you can use this color palette on other brushes that you have, other impressionist brushes that you have of mine. But oops, I just think it's so much fun. This letter makes me happy. If I can open that back up. But also, I wanted to let you know, you can always save this color palette um, to your, um, your patterns and use it with one of my other brushes. So to do that, you can go up to the top right and, uh, or how do you do that here? Um, oh, you go into the brush, but I'll, I'll, I'll have the pattern available anyway. But if you go, maybe it's my patterns. Mm, I was thinking you can do it from the brush, but anyway, I will include the pattern for you so you can use this on other brushes. And what I was going to remind you guys is if you don't have my Impressionist brushes, um, there is a, a article on Adobe Create. I did a collaboration with them and they, you can download some of a, a sample of my original Impressionist brushes and you can download, what is this, six of them. And I'm gonna show you what they look like using the rainbow brush palette. So I think it's really fun. So this is Modern Impressionist brush number six. And it's a really cool um, kind of uh, chunky Impressionist brush. And I love it. It's great for like making, oops, let's undo that. For making really cool like brush strokes like this directional. So I think it's so much fun. And then you've also got Modern Impressionist 39 which is quite cool and you can do it light or you can do it heavy. So it's always, you know, different. And then you've got brush 44, which is really cool. And then you've got romantic English garden nine. And then you've got a more dramatic um, flower brush from romantic English garden. And then you've got the Palm beach garden party, which is watercolors, which I love. I think that is a magic. So um, you will have the H brush. So you can make a letter H like this. And I will give you the color palette here. And then also I'll have the link down below. And if you want to play around with these, you can download these directly from Adobe. So um, definitely if you download those from Adobe, please leave a comment and let them know that you love them so that they will have me back to make more brushes because I really enjoyed that. All right, well have fun with this brush today. And this can be downloaded directly from my website and I will link it to the blog post and you don't even have to register to download it. All right, happy creating guys.